Britain's Queen Elizabeth II has died at the age of 96, Buckingham Palace has announced. The Queen breathed her last at Balmoral Castle, where she was under medical supervision. The tragic news left millions of her fans crying and mourning. According to the official account of the royal family, the Queen died peacefully. The Queen's sons, daughters, grandchildren and in-laws as well as public figures were present with her before her death. Her family members rushed to the royal estate after Buckingham Palace released a concerning statement this morning. The Queen had been struggling with her health since the death of the Duke of Edinburgh in April last year. Since last autumn, she's had to pull out of a series of public events because of what seemed to be persistent problems with her mobility, often handing over duties to Prince Charles. Remembrance Sunday, the Monday Thursday service, the annual Commonwealth service and the state opening of Parliament have been among the events where health issues stopped the Queen from taking part over the past 12 months. On 6 February this year, the Queen became the first British monarch to celebrate a platinum jubilee, marking 70 years of service to the people of the United Kingdom, the realms and the Commonwealth. On Tuesday, two day before her death, Queen appointed UK's new PM Liz Truss, who had herself travelled to Balmoral in a break with tradition as the monarch was suffering from mobility issues. Thousands of people gathered outside Buckingham Palace following the Queen's death, they were all in tears over the sad demise of their beloved monarch. Write in the comments what you think about this. And at the end of the video I ask you to subscribe and like, thank you.